Is there anything out there that's like comfortable, looks cool, and is protective, like does all the above? Punk rock styling, full on wax cotton chassis, aggressive fit, stretch shoulders, a place for all your armor, place for your cell phone. The name comes from a Clash song. I'm talking about the Roland Sands Casbah motorcycle jacket, and I'm gonna review it coming right up. <laughs> Today I am reviewing the Roland Sands Design Casbah. We're into day two of fall, so you gotta kind of embrace it a little bit, and what a better way to embrace it with a mid-weight jacket. If you know me, you know I don't do hardcore tech reviews. I'm a user, this is like a user review. It's what I find works for me, it's what I think looks cool and works well stuff that I just use and like to use. The number one thing, bottom line is, this jacket is bad at Another thing, it's very protective. When you meld something that's really cool with something protective, you have a winner. But let me show you the jacket. <clears throat> um, okay, let me throw it on. I'm gonna have to zoom back a little bit so you can see this thing, but I first wanna zip it up a little bit. Zip these sleeves work really well. I'm gonna back up. This is a magnetic collar. Here's one of the features. I think it's pretty cool. You can see the magnet a little bit, but whatever. Uh, so when you have it unzipped like this, you just go like this and it snaps back over. So why is it a, a, a fold over? If you go back to the 50s, uh, the way those jackets were designed, it was like if there was two pieces of material, it would keep you warmer than one piece of material. So that's why it folds over. You can leave it open, all the way open, so you get three different comfort levels. That was the idea, that was the weather protection back then. It still holds to reason though, actually. And so back then we didn't have, um, you know, uh, heated clothing and stuff like that. So that was the heated clothing version of this. Anyway, so what happens when you get hot? Well, you unzip it a little bit, maybe you unzip it all the way here, and then you start pulling these vents, these. Then you pull the vents in the back, or you can open it all the way, which I don't suggest because if you have it at least just part way down, if you were to crash, then your armor stays in place. Uh, there are shirts with armor in it, and people get them, and they get it too big, and the armor just moves over to the side if they crash, and it doesn't do them any good. Your stuff kind of has to fit a little bit tight, and, and that's just something that is just a reality if you want your stuff to be protective. Plus, you know, it looks pretty cool. Make it tight, make it cool, and make it fit well. This thing's got that, that 50s cafe racer thing that looks good on those kind of bikes. I've been wearing on, on the Indian Scout Bobber. I would totally wear this on my Norton. I would totally wear this on my Triumph Thrust, and I would even wear it on my BMW GS. I don't care. I, I just think it's a nice jacket. So I went out and I took a ride in this thing three different times now, and I've loved it all three times. The one time I actually pulled over and opened these vents up on both sides and in the back. So I unzipped them and then I zipped this down to like about here and let this magnetic clip hold it. And it felt great. What else is cool about it is if you look, it's like, the shape of this actually comes up this way. So when you're riding, it's actually longer here. I kind of have monkey arms to begin with. So when you're riding and you stretch, plus this has some stretch right here. When you ride and you're stretching, this is long enough where it doesn't ride up. If you guys are motorcycle riders to begin with, you get this, especially if you're a cafe racer guy or a sport bike guy, you lean forward and your sleeves start pulling up. Nothing's worse than riding and thinking you look cool when you look like Frankenstein. <laughs> Plus, he added this little angle to it that looks pretty darn bad. As a matter of fact, oh, there's a wicking material in here. Inside of this guy, right here. What's cool is this Napoleon pocket right here. And the reason they call it a Napoleon pocket, and this is waterproof. I don't know if you can see this, I can't really zoom, zoom in on it too much. Whoop, you zip this thing and your cell phone is not gonna get wet. Uh, it's a waterproof pocket right here. 
I am gonna put some of the specs in the description so that you can see. I'm six foot and I go about 187, and I'm in a large. So that gives you an idea of you know what size you might wanna wear. When you start putting protection in, it's gonna get tighter. This would not be a summer jacket, uh, at least not in Southern California. This would definitely be a fall jacket or a spring jacket. Cold weather, not so much. I love this thing. It's, it's just got that cool punk rock inspired thing to it. I love the vibe. I really do. That's it for my review of the Roland Sands Casbah jacket. Take care of each other and keep rock alive. If people like this channel, what are they supposed to do? Subscribe and leave a like down below and turn on the notifications so that you don't miss another video.